This is going to be a basic tutorial for the Vegas character. I'll keep it simple. The goal of this video is to teach you how to get to the end without overfilling. Mostly this is meant for mono players. Read the description for more detail about that. If you have absolutely no experience at all with the game, go and play it a little more before watching this. Though this is for Audio Surf, Audio Surf 2 will also have an equivalent Vegas character, eventually. Now, I'm not the best Vegas player in the world, far from it, but there are no Vegas tutorials as far as I could tell, and I feel like it's the most accessible puzzle character, so here I am. Rule number one in Vegas is, don't collect purple blocks. They give you next to no points, and they make shuffling the board much less effective. Yes, I know I just broke rule number one less than 30 seconds in. The purple block was turned into a blue one with this blue paint power-up, so it's okay. Yellow and red paint power-ups are valuable in Vegas. You should ignore blue and purple paints unless your board is really full and you need to empty it fast. When you don't have a lot of blocks on your board, collect every non-purple block you see. Kind of the same as in mono. When the board starts to clog up with blocks that aren't matching, that's when you use the left mouse button, not the shoulder, to shuffle. You don't need to shuffle here. Even though the board is full, most of the blocks are matching and they'll disappear soon. That's what the flashing means. When a column is full and the blocks are matched, then the next block you hit in that column will speed up the match and you won't overfill. When you're at a slow uphill part of the song, keep shuffling until your board is as empty as you can get it. I pass by the yellow paint here because most of the blocks on my board are red or white. Turning them yellow would mean losing points that I would have got from the red or white blocks. Never underestimate white blocks. Just one of them is worth 2,000 points, as many as about nine yellow blocks. Music. Stuff you watch with the message pop record. I can see a good potential red and blue match coming up, so I stop shuffling for now. You'll have to get used to switching your attention between what's on your board and what's coming up ahead, especially in fast parts of the song. Every 30 seconds, Vegas will give you a new random power-up to use. These are shown above your character, and the top one will be used when you right-click. The lightning bolt shape is called a storm, and I usually use them almost right away. They're good for getting rid of blocks of that color at the top of each column. Sometimes you'll be saddled with a terrible power-up like that purple paint I've been carrying around. Since that's at the bottom of the stack, it won't hurt to save it for later. You'll see why. For the first time from around the world. Normally I would shuffle here because of an unbalanced board in the left column, but the blues are almost gone and there's a yellow match coming up. Music, music. Stuff you watch with the message pop record. This is one place where Storm is useful, to connect the red blocks on either side of the board to make one big match. Once again, the board is nearly full, but all of these blue and red blocks are about to disappear. However, in a few more seconds, you'll see the right column fill up and little exclamation marks appear on the blocks. If I were to hit a block in that column at that point, I would overfill and lose lots of points, all of my stored power-ups, and the ability to gather more blocks for a few seconds. To avoid that, shuffle the board to even things out. Another imbalanced board means more shuffling until more matches are made. This one takes a few tries to clear out, so I skip a block here and there to avoid overfilling. The faster your board is filling up, the more you'll have to slow down on collecting new blocks until you can shuffle out the old ones. You'll also notice I just got a red paint. This is incredibly useful. In a few seconds, I'll use it in a combo that gets me 66,000 points in one match. I'll talk more about that in the advanced video. The flashing lightning symbol gives you three wildcard blocks in whichever column you want. They're useful for getting rid of purple blocks you accidentally collect because they'll match with and eliminate any color they touch. You'll get slightly fewer points, but at least it's gone. In this case, the yellow paint was valuable. It gets me 11,000 points. 
There's no point in shuffling here because there's less than three of every color on the board. It's impossible to make matches in any combination. The middle column is almost full. You should know the drill by now. That yellow paint was also skipped because it would have dropped the value of the red blocks about to make a match. Do you see the chain reaction about to take place in the left column? Watch for these and avoid shuffling when you see them. You'll get more points for it. Purple storms are the worst. The best way to deal with them is to shuffle or collect blocks until the columns are about equal in height. If you use it then, the purple blocks will match and you can quickly get rid of them. In this case I fail and I'm stuck with a single purple block and a full board on top of that. There are several ways I can deal with this. Shuffling is one way, but because this block is on the top, a better way I think is to avoid shuffling and only hit purple blocks in that column until they're gone. Mission accomplished. Now I can go back to my usual strategy. When I get to the end of the song, I shuffle repeatedly to match as many blocks as I can, then right click to use the purple paint I've been carrying around at the very last second. So last second in fact that you can't even see the match being made, but it does count because I get clean finish. I don't recommend cutting it this close by the way. Clean finish will give you a massive 25% score bonus. Try to save a paint power up until the end so that you can easily get the bonus. Do you see the huge gap between the Vegas and Eraser players and the Mono players? Part of the reason I'm making this video is because Vegas has a much higher scoring potential if you know what you're doing. It's also one of the easiest puzzle characters to get used to, in my opinion. These strategies will help you at least get to the end without overfilling too much. Practice surviving for a while, then head to the advanced video where I show you some tricks for scoring competitively.